hello and welcome. Please pause this video and try the problem on your own. So first of all, uh, they're asking which equation has the same solution as this equation right here, right? I'll, I'll write it out. x squared plus 6x minus 7 equals 0. So that just means uh, which of these is really the same equation written in a different way. Now I could factor this thing out to try and figure it out. It won't help me, uh, not right away. It'll, it'll show me that if I try and factor this out, and you factors that multiply a negative 7, so some combination of 7 and 1 positive and negative, where 7 is positive and 1 is negative, because they have to add, also add to negative 6. But this doesn't match any of the forms they're giving us, so what I would then do is complete the square. It's the other option I usually go to. So to start the completing the square process, I usually add my constant over to the other side. Otherwise, things just get confusing for me. You don't have to do this step first. It's just easiest for me. So again, I add 7, the constant to both sides. And now, this helps me focus on the part of the equation, x squared plus 6x, that we're turning into a perfect square trinomial. So this is what we're going to turn into a perfect square. To do that, we just take 6, that's the b term. We take b, divide it by 2, and then square it. This, this process will create a perfect square trinomial. So 6 divided by 2 squared, which is 3 squared, or 9. Right? So this means if we add 9 to both sides, we've created a perfect square trinomial that is factorable. So this thing is just x plus 3 times x plus 3. And you can see that it's already starting to look like the choices they've given us. They all have, some have x minus 3 squared, some have x plus 3 squared. And we have x plus 3 squared. So already we're eliminating, and we have 7 plus 9 is 16, so this means x plus 3 squared is 16. So this equation looks quite different, the structure is different and so forth, but it has all the same x values as our original equation right here. And that just goes back to the properties of equality, we add it to both sides, um, and we do that constantly and then factor it, and that, that maintains equality in our equation. So these are the same these equations have the same solutions, I'll say it that way. So that means the answer is just choice four. All right, thanks.